Are you ready to be blown away by the sheer size and power of the largest aircraft carriers in the world? These are true behemoths of the sea, towering over everything else and representing the pinnacle of modern naval engineering. From the newest and most advanced aircraft carrier in the world, the USS Gerald R. Ford, to the French flagship Charles de Gaulle, to China's first ever supercarrier, the Type 003 Fujian. These vessels are true marvels of modern technology, and their impressive size and advanced technology are sure to leave you in awe. Today, we'll take a closer look at some of the most massive and impressive ships that have ever been built, from aircraft carriers to battleships and everything in between. Whether you're a naval enthusiast, a history buff, or simply fascinated by the wonders of modern technology, this video is sure to leave you in awe. So buckle up, grab your life jacket, and let's sail on this epic adventure together. USS Gerald R. The USS Gerald R. Ford is the newest and most advanced aircraft carrier in the world. It's a 21st century flagship military vessel that was unveiled at a cost of more than $13 billion, setting extremely high requirements for its construction. The displacement of this behemoth is 100,000 tons, making it one of the largest warships ever built with dimensions to match, 1,106 feet long. 256 feet wide and 250 feet tall, with a flight deck able to accommodate up to 90 aircraft. The two most notable technologies on board are EMALS, electromagnetic aircraft launch systems, which replace traditional steam catapults, and AAG, advanced arresting gear. EMALS uses stored kinetic energy and solid-state electrical energy conversion to propel aircraft from the carrier with greater precision than steam engines, while also reducing maintenance needs by being able to launch heavier aircraft. Additionally, it reduces the ship's need for fresh water and energy-intensive desalination, as well as eliminating the need for steam generation and storage, freeing up space below deck. AAG replaced MK-7 brake mechanisms, using hydraulics to slow down landing aircraft rotary engines that use simple energy-absorbing water turbines coupled with large induction motors, providing precise control over drag forces suitable even for UAVs. 11 Advanced Weapons Elevators AW, make it possible to minimize the time needed to move weapons from their storage and assembly areas to aircraft waiting on takeoff decks. Ammunition is lifted to a centralized re-equipment site using heavy-duty elevators that employ linear motors, making sure ammunition doesn't cross any traffic areas, and reducing problems in hangars and on the flight deck. This means that the rearmament of aircraft can now be completed in minutes instead of hours, the two Betchel A1B nuclear reactors provide enough energy for several countries for an entire year at once. Monaco Liechtenstein, Andorra, and San Marino. The USS Navy expects this ship to continue cruises until 2105, and its future armament will include FEL, free electron laser weapons, electrical armor, and advanced tracking systems. The USS Gerald R. Ford is the crown jewel of naval vessels and a symbol of US military supremacy in the world's oceans. Its development marks a major milestone in modern naval engineering as it sets new standards for safety, efficiency, and power projection at sea. Charles de Gaulle Charles de Gaulle is a French aircraft carrier and the flagship of the French Navy. The vessel was named after the famous French president Charles de Gaulle and was commissioned in 2001. It replaced two vintage Clemenceau-class aircraft carriers, Clemenceau R-98 and Foch R-99. Charles de Gaulle has a length of 858 feet, a flight deck width of 207 feet, a height of 218 feet, and an impressive displacement of 42,500 tons at full load. Its immense size allows it to accommodate up to 40 aircraft, including 30 Dassault Rafale fighters. E2C Hawkeye Tactical AEWAX aircraft, as well as AS-365F Dolphin helicopters, EC-725 Caracal helicopters, and AS-532 Cougar helicopters. 
The vessel is equipped with two 246-foot C-13-3 stem catapults, which are used to launch planes using a catapult system while it uses safety lines to land on the ship. To protect itself against enemy forces, it also has four silver adelman launchers that accommodate MBDA Aster-15 anti-aircraft missile systems and two Sector-6 element launchers with short-range Mistral missiles. Additionally, eight 20mm Yacht 20F2 cannons were installed for self-defense at close range. The Type 003 Fujian the Type 003 Fujian is the first ever Chinese aircraft carrier to reach a supercarrier class. It was constructed outside of the United States and features new technologies and systems that have never been seen before. The displacement of this ship reaches an incredible 80,000 tons with a length of 1,037 feet and a width of 255 feet. This Chinese aircraft carrier uses the Stobar or short takeoff barrier arrested recovery system instead of the catabar system used by American vessels. This stowbar system launches aircraft from a springboard and prevents them from using cables in catabar. The Type 003 Fujian also uses principles similar to the USS Ford's Amals using steam turbines and electromagnetic catapults to launch planes into flight. The Type 003 Fusion is equipped with an Integrated Electric Propulsion System, or IEP, as well as 40 Shenyang FC-31 Gur Falcon 5th Generation Fighters. China's answer to the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, as well as at least one Zion KJ-600 AWACS turboprop aircraft, allowing it to carry out offensive operations both on air and sea. As technology continues to advance, so too will aircraft carriers, ensuring that they remain at a forefront of naval warfare. We hope you enjoyed this look into some of the most powerful naval vessels in the world. Like and subscribe and comment down below which one of these you liked most. Hit the bell icon for more videos like this one and thanks for watching.